Hello guys, good morning. It's a beautiful Monday morning. So today marks another memorable date for everyone in the universe because today is the 65th Miss Universe which will be held here in the Philippines. <laughs> so I'm excited guys. I'm sure you are guys. I'm sure you are very excited about it and you have your own bet. Okay, so for me, of course, I'm from the Philippines, so I'm actually um, looking forward to seeing Maxine in um, the finals and even winning the crown, guys, so that it will be a back-to-back -back, uh, win for the Philippines. So last year, Pia works back won as Miss uh, Universe 2015. It was a very controversial one. So I just hope this time there will be no more controversies. <laughs> Especially that it's Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey who's who's hosting. But I believe in Steve Harvey. It was an honest mistake before, guys. So I'm very excited. So wait, something is missing. Um, it's incomplete because today's Miss Universe. I'll have my own headdress. Wait, it's actually a bag. But let me see. Let me see if it will work. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Okay, there. Oh, so it's like a national costume now, right? Okay, so I just have a few, like, um, let's say comments before the pageant starts. So first, good luck to Maxine Medina. Go girl, I know that you've been working hard for this and you've been training hard. Um, of course, to give a good, good fight for the Filipino. So I'm very proud of you, Maxine, whether you win or not today. Okay, we're already proud of what you have accomplished and what matters is the hard work so just enjoy have fun and you know just keep in mind that you're doing this not just for um yourself or your family but for the entire filipino um entire filipino country okay and also um do this because you have your own advocacy right so that you can influence other people especially if you are already Miss Universe. So there you go, guys. And I just want to comment on, um, because a lot of people were bashing her um, about her communication skills. So I understand, guys, that, as you know, not everyone is perfect. Um, so she has been training hard to actually be able to answer questions and organize her thoughts and I'm very confident about her trainers so let's just see later on and about getting an interpreter you know what guys to be honest with you there's it's actually there's nothing wrong for me because actually she can use it as an as a, her advantage like she can just say I will use an interpreter only because I would like to answer in my native language or my first language which is Filipino because I'm a fr I'm proud Filipina right guys she's in the philippines so she can answer in filipino correct so let's see what will happen so okay let's just enjoy this moment guys and let's pray for maxine and hope for the best okay let's see what happens Bye. <laughs> 